How's it going? Welcome to my video or welcome back if you're coming back. My name is Diane. I hope you're doing very well. So I just got back from a one week trip from Disney World with my husband and I wanted to show you the stuff that I brought with me. Things that I thought was helpful, things that I thought that wasn't really needed, and um, just really unpack with me. We're here in my closet, so I kind of apologize for all the mess over there. Right, so before I forget, at the end of the video, I will also include a checklist of things that I feel are essential for having at Disney World, and you can screenshot the checklist for you as you're packing. If you enjoy content, more so bags and luggage and things that I really enjoy and recommend, um, if you like watching videos like this or if you enjoy today's video, I would love for you to like the video or also subscribe and join the family. Or also, as always, if you have any comments or anything like that, any questions, please feel free to comment down below and I will do my best to answer. So yeah, let's get started because I packed so much stuff. I'm a little bit nervous because when I go on trips, I usually pack everything nice and orderly, but then on the return back, especially because we had taken a 4 a.m. flight, I kind and I just shoved everything in my luggage and zipped it up the night before really quickly and so things are just shoved in there it's a little bit of a mess but you know what let's get started this is my Dagny Dover backpack I brought this as my carry-on when I was flying and this was not my park bag or my daily bag that I used I'll show you what I, I use on a daily it's packed inside here I love 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 this backpack this is the large size starting with the front pocket some quick access things in case I needed it on the plane. I have my lipstick slash chapstick. So I got this on Timu and it's it was like 75 cents and it's green but when you put it on, if you can kind of see, I apologize, it's a little bit messy, but if you put it on, actually, it turns a nice rosy pink color and um, it's very moisturizing. So that's what it looks like. Then I have my wireless AirPods and then I I caught a cold when I was at Disney World, so I've been having a runny nose. So I just have some Kleenexes just in case. And then this is my Hero Clip. I love this thing. This is a carabiner that is on a hook. And so that way if I had a bag, I could put it there and then I could then hang this like on the bathroom stall or this is in the medium size I had originally if you watched my other video with you what's in my bag I had originally ordered the x small but I thought it was a little bit too small and then so I upsized it this is the medium size fully love this thing and then in the front pocket I have this I got this from the target dollar spot this is for when I'm flying it's a little pouch thing and then so I put wipes in here um, that I can easily access to sanitize like when I when I'm flying I can wipe down the seats and then in this side it's just a pouch where I have some extra mask and things I still wear my mask when I'm in very crowded places and definitely when I'm still flying because I just feel like the air isn't circulated as well so I always wear a mask when I'm flying that's it for the front pocket I also brought on this side I have my mini hand sanitizer and then this is my emergency pouch. I carry this, I move it from my purse to purse, but in here I have like a hairbrush, I have my headache medicine or ibuprofen, Tylenol, that stuff in case I ever need. I have another Vaseline lip balm in there. I have on the go deodorant in here. I have my hand cream. This is the Aveeno nighttime balm. Very good, it's very hydrating. I have my phone core charger, hand sanitizing wipes all that stuff this is kind of like my daily what i keep in my daily purse i have more mask in here just the regular ones i have a couple n95s in case i really needed it and then i, I like these kn95 ones this thing i also ordered on timu it essentially hangs on the tray and then um you can it's like a, a leg rest when i'm sitting on airplanes it's a little like bougie but i i enjoy it and then this is my portable jewelry holder that I absolutely love. I got this on Etsy when I'm traveling overnight because I don't wear my ring when I'm sleeping. So I brought this so I put my ring in here overnight. And so it's it looks like this on the inside. There are ring slots. There are a couple open places where you can put like a necklace or put some earrings. And then if you wanted, there's another 
pouch pocket thing right there. So I really, really love this thing. I bring it whenever, like overnight or anytime I can anticipate that I'm gonna take off my ring. And then in here I have just my wallet. This is my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet that I love. And then I have my Louis Vuitton MM Agenda. Well, I just like having this when I'm away for some time, just in case someone asks me to if I'm available for a certain day or to cover or anything like that. I just like having this. Then I have my Kindle that I absolutely love. This is the Kindle Oasis. I brought this mostly for when I'm on the airplane. My like absolute favorite author right now that I'm really into um, is Colleen Hoover. And I just finished It Starts With Us. It's a book series. Um, the, it's the second book of the book series. The first one is It Ends With Us. And it is really good. I really enjoy, I've read many of her books at this point. But I really, really love the Kindle. If you're a reader, you're trying to get into reading, I fully recommend the Kindle because it's so thin. And it's like so small that you could even bring it into the parks if like you're with family or kids and you're like any period or anywhere where you go if you want to read just to kill some time. This is fully, it's so lightweight. It's, I love it. And then in here, oh, this is important. So when I'm traveling these days, I always put an air tag in my luggage, in my carry on, and definitely in my checked luggage. So this is just in a reusable baggie, but you can see there's my air tag right there. And it is definitely a travel hack that I do now every single time I travel. That way, I always know where my stuff is or if I'm traveling. I just want to make sure that my checked luggage made it on the plane with me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So fully recommend adding an air tag into your luggage and stuff when you travel. The next thing in here, this is a pouch that came. Actually, this pouch came with this backpack. And in here, this is very important if you're going to any theme park or any long-term traveling. It is a battery pack um, to charge my cell phone or my husband's cell phone any electronic devices and this one I got on Amazon it's a little bit heavy but the reason why it's heavy is because I think it is like 10,000 kilowatts or I don't know what the label is but it holds its charge so see how we only used it one time and it shows so they're still 87 percent there are a couple different so you can charge a couple different devices at the same time and so in here I have the iPhone cord that kind of goes with it so we can charge the iPhone because my husband and I both have the iPhone. Um, but I also put in here my Kindle charger so I could charge my Kindle if I needed to. And then in here I just have an extra block just in case for whatever reason if this wasn't working I could still charge my phone. So in the back of this backpack there's another compartment right here. It's a padded compartment. And in here, I brought my laptop. I did end up doing work one morning for a couple of hours. Otherwise, probably didn't need to bring my laptop. It was just extra stuff to carry. But I just, I'm one of those people that when I travel, I feel like I always have to have my laptop. And then so, of course, I needed my laptop supplies. So this is just another pouch. This is like my laptop tech pouch. And in here, I have like my portable mouse. I have my charging block. I have the cords, all that stuff. I think that's everything in my carry-on that I brought in. Oh, actually, I think I hear a couple more things in here. Oh, I have some snacks. I always have some snacks. So my, my go-to snacks these days. So I love the Mott's fruit snacks. And then I also got these from Costco. I'm obsessed with these these days. These are the Hello Panda. They're like these little crackers and there's like chocolate in the middle of them. And so these are like the little snack packs that I got from Costco. I like bring these everywhere. And I also brought the fruit snacks when I went into the parks just in case I wanted a little bit, a little snack. These I also brought one day, but because there's chocolate in the middle, these actually kind of melted a little bit. They were okay because I ate them earlier in the day before it got super, super hot. But I would not recommend bringing snacks into Disney World that are like meltable, like chocolate and things like that because it will melt because it's so hot there. Now I think my backpack is empty. This backpack, I should probably do a review because I absolutely love, love, love this backpack. There are so many different compartments in here. It's lightweight, it's very cute, it comes in a lot of different colors. There's This is a large size, there's a medium and a small size, which I'll show you. But yeah, fully love this backpack, but that's all the stuff that I brought in my carry-on. So now moving into my large base checked luggage. 
I really love base in their luggage. And so this side is the compression side. Let me just undo these clips. Yeah, things are just thrown in here. So I'm just going to pull things out. So this is my Dagny Dover Hunter toiletry bag. It's a little bit stained, but this is in the large size. And in here, this is my makeup. This bag comes with this pouch accessory that's round. And in here, I have my makeup brushes. I have my eyeliner, my mascara, and then and then in here I have some makeup palettes. Some of the a lot of this stuff is actually really old. So I don't even know if you can find it anymore, but like this is my bare minerals. I can't find one that is a better color than this. And um, if you're looking for it, I think I saw this actually on Poshmark. This is the crystalline glow, is what it says. That's what the back looks like if you're interested. But this, I just absolutely love it. It was a free gift from Bare Minerals years ago when I ordered it. I'm sorry, it's really dirty, but that's kind of what the colors look like. I have my Makeup Revolution Pro. Um, this is the foundation that I have been using these days. It's the e.l.f. Camo. This is so good. It has a blurring effect, and I fully, fully recommend this, and it's quite inexpensive compared to, like, Sephora makeup prices. In here, other, like, essentials that I use every day. I got this in Hawaii. It's a fan. I like it because once I put my makeup on, I usually put a makeup setting spray, and then I use this to dry my face really fast and to dry down the setting spray. So I always keep this with my makeup. I have these eyeshadow palettes in here that are super, super good. Most of my stuff have become e.l.f. These are like $3 palettes, and they are so pigmented and so good. Most of my videos are me wearing eyeshadow. I'm using these like palettes. And then I have just some blush. These are also really hydrating, these Milani ones. This color is Covet. This one is what it looks like. So I like the berry pink one colors. Um, and it, these are just super hydrating. I'm wearing, in my right now, I'm wearing this line, but in a different color if you're interested. Um, shout out to Lois, because um, I know she likes my colors. So that's for you. And then in here, I just have a couple other things. I brought uh, my acne stickers. These are also really good too. They're the Panoxy acne stickers. I actually used one of these when I was at Disney. It made my pimple go away like the next day. So th this is just my makeup. This isn't a makeup review, so let's move on. Okay, the next thing on top, I brought extra pads. I thought I would do to have my period any day now, so I just didn't want to deal with that when I was at Disney and look for it, so I brought some extras. This is um, some snacks that I brought. Um, so at nighttime in the hotel room, if I wanted to eat, these are just some Pringles that I brought. I know it's totally random. This one is my skincare pouch. Some stuff in here that I'll share that I absolutely love and recommend. Paula's Choice. This is like a chemical exfoliant. This stuff is so, so good. Once I put it on, I notice the next day how smooth uh, it makes my skin because I have acne prone skin. All right, so I want to take a pause because we just got here. I want to just take a two minute pause and share with you my facial sunscreen. So I think sunscreen is definitely an essential that you need when you're at Disney World. And so for my face, I have certain face sunscreens because I, I have very acne prone skin. And then I brought regular sunscreen that I'll show you for my body. But the main one that I have been obsessed with for like the past year to two years is this one. This is the Bliss Block Star. This is so good. It is SPF 30. It's a mineral sunscreen. I definitely for my face, I use mineral sunscreens, but this is a tinted mineral sunscreen. And so this is super good. It's water resistant. You can get this at Target or at Walmart. It's around the like $20, $21 price point. I use this every single day. Most days when I go to work, I actually, because it's tinted, I use this and I don't really use foundation. So if I had to recommend one sunscreen for you guys, for like face sunscreen, I would use this one. And then my second favorite one is this one. Then this is the La Roche Posay. This is not tinted. This is just a regular mineral sunscreen. Here it's here it is. Um, this one is a little bit more pricey. You can also get this at Target and Ulta places like that. This is around the probably like the twenty-five to thirty dollar price point. This is white. Um, it has a white cast to it, but it's SPF fifty. 
And so that's why what I actually obsessively what I ended up doing was I would put this one on first because this was SPF 50 and then I would layer this one on top of it because it was a tinted sunscreen just so I could make sure that my face was like fully covered and protected from the sun. Fully recommend these are the two face sunscreens but please 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 pack sunscreen. Um, other things in here oh here's one more sunscreen that I also brought. This is the Derma E sunscreen sun protection powder and this is a mineral powder SPF 30 and so it has powder down here on the bottom and then it's on a brush and so like that way you could put reapply sunscreen on your face over makeup but when I was applying it at Disney I was like playing around with it and now finally I think after a year of having this I finally like fixed it um see how full it is but I was just applying now and now some of the powder is coming out so this is just so I could reapply over my makeup when I was out in the park so this is an option to use like some type of like makeup powder that way it won't smear and mess up your makeup in here I also have my skincare regimen just high points a couple things that I absolutely use on the daily that I absolutely love and recommend this is pricey I'll be honest but this is the Lancome Genifique serum I use this every day and I have noticed such a difference with my skin I feel like it makes my skin look more youthful I feel like it has helped plump it up and my wrinkles and I think it's because I've been using this I initially got this with the Lancome holiday set and when I ran out when I finished it I rebought this I already repurchased this like two or three times because I love it so much and this is quite pricey especially if you go to like Ulta and stuff like that but once in a while Lancome on their website will have major sales and like for example just maybe like two weeks ago or so they had a 50% off sale so you like be on the lookout if you're wanting to try this subscribe to the Lancome website and be on the lookout for sales because they do I do often see that this goes on sale like up to 50% off so yeah but fully recommend this what other things do I like this is my urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray I use this every single day just to keep my makeup in, in place this is another face sunscreen that I recently got into and I'm still trying I'm not a hundred percent sure if I like it as much this is the elf uh, woe glow sunscreen this is pretty popular right now on YouTube this is also pretty affordable. I think it's around the $13 mark. You can get it from Target or Walmart, stuff like that. It's SPF 30. And this is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And this has a very, very shiny glow look. As opposed to what's different. This one, the Bliss one, this one is more of a matte one. This is very matte. Whereas this one is very shiny. Typically, because I have oily skin, I prefer the matte, but for I was kind of into it because this was so highly rated that I wanted to try this out. Love, love, love. I would pick this one over this one. They're both okay, but this is my absolute favorite, the Bliss one. This one is matte. Um, the other difference between the two is this is a mineral sunscreen and this is a chemical sunscreen. And you can watch other videos, stuff like that. I personally feel that mineral sunscreens are a little bit better because it's an actual protective layer on your skin. Whereas the mineral one is absorbed, a little bit of the rays are still absorbed into your skin. So those are like minor differences. Let's see other things in here as part of my skincare routine. This is the True Skin. You can order this on Amazon or I also saw this at Target or Walmart but this is my vitamin C I this is like my also like my probably my third or fourth maybe fifth bottle of this I feel like it does make my skin look more radiant with the vitamin C if you are going to apply vitamin C apply it in the morning time before you put on your face sunscreen um, they work together and it makes the sunscreen work a little bit better is kind of what I read and then those are like the main things. I have a couple other things in here, like my face moisturizer. I don't personally recommend this one. I'm just using it up. This is the La Roche Posay. So that one I'm not going to really talk about because I don't fully recommend it. And then this is just a second face sunscreen. This is really good. Okay. So that's my skincare bag. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Okay. So this is just a, um, when we went to Animal Kingdom, this is like a souvenir type thing. We took an art class. Animal Kingdom was so fun. But we took an art class, like an animation experience. 
and my husband and I, we drew Judy the rabbit. This was when we went to eat at Magic Kingdom. We ate at the Crystal Palace. It's one of those character meals and they just gave us a card when we sat down. So, and then you can see each of the characters. When you're eating there, they walk around. It's a buffet and then they walk around. They being Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore walk around table to table and you have an opportunity to take a picture with them. And so these are just their signatures. It's one of the better character meals. We ate at a couple of them. And like, uh, for example, we also ate at Beauty and the Beast. I don't remember what the name is called, but we ate at the Beauty and the Beast one. And that one is also a character meal, but the Beast actually doesn't go around table to table. They just kind of like walk through and like that's it. And that Beauty and the Beast one is a lot more pricey. So if you have little kids and you're going, I do recommend, so I'm, I'm doing too much talking. My battery just died, but let's keep on moving. So next thing in here, I have my hairbrush and let's see in here. These are my husband's flip flops, but I fully recommend packing flip flops. That way, even when you're walking around the hotel room, hotel floors are dirty. So fully recommend packing a pair of flip flops that way for the hotel or if you wanted to go to the pool. I mean, a lot of people wear flip flops walking around the park. I don't personally do it and I don't recommend it because at the parks you do so much walking and on average we would walk about, the first day at Epcot we walked a lot. We walked like 12 miles and then other days we walked like 10 miles. And so definitely wear comfortable shoes. And if you're wondering, I brought two different pairs of shoes. This one is the first one. I would definitely say bring a comfortable pair of tennis shoes. These are my Allbirds. I brought them because they are pink, but they were a little bit hot because they are wool. But in this, I would say bring a pair of tennis shoes or some type of comfortable shoes. Here's the other pair of shoes that I brought. I, I know they're really dirty. I'm sorry because they're light colored. I got these from Nordstrom's Rack probably like a year or two years ago. But these are Rika. I, I know they're really dirty, but these are so padded they're super comfortable and i'd say bring a comfortable pair of sandals and tennis shoes at the minimum next thing on top here we brought hats so this is my peloton hat i am such a peloton lover so you can bring a hat and that way you can get a little bit of sun protection so there's my hat there's my husband's hat from hawaii and then in here okay so in here these are some snacks and things that i brought and this is the reason why i i change to the larger checked bag. I'm one of those people who I always have to have breakfast when I start my day and normally I drink a protein shake when I get started. So lately I've been drinking this one which is a Fairlife protein. I get them in bulk from Costco. So I brought a couple of those. I ended up not drinking when I was at Disney World so technically this was like a like an overpack that I didn't need. So and then I packed in here like some granola bars. Of course I have my Mott's fruit snacks these panda crackers um and okay side side thing as you're packing for disney so um i brought snacks but if i could redo my trip again i would say don't pack snacks because when you get there you could order deliveries i i would recommend you could order snacks we ordered some cereal and a small thing of milk so we could have breakfast every day before we went into the parks to save some money. We just stayed in a regular room. and But even in the regular rooms, you have like a little cooler fridge. So we ordered just, and I ordered some yogurt. We ordered my morning coffee with half and half because I am obsessed with the Starbucks cold brew. My husband likes Coke, so he got some bottles of Coke. So we ordered some stuff. So I would say don't bother packing snacks because you can always have it delivered to your hotel there. And a lot of people do that. So I fully think it'll make it traveling a a lot easier and then that way you don't even have to deal with checking a luggage um, if you can fit everything in a carry-on that stuff all right next thing in here kind of food related this is an essential for Disney so bring a reusable water bottle I love 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 this is my Brita water bottle I decorated it with my Cricut with my name on it there's a filter inside here and so that way I personally just feel like if I'm drinking water from elsewhere it's a little bit cleaner but this one is like what's it called? I don't know, like metal. So it's insulated. So I would fill ice in, in water up at the hotel and we would have water throughout the day. And this, this one is my husband's. This pink one is a 32 ounce one. It's a little bit bigger. And then my husband, he doesn't drink as much water. This one is a 20 ounce. So these come in two different sizes. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors. You can get these at Walmart. You can get these at Target. I've seen, I've seen some grocery stores have them or you can just order these on Amazon. 
definitely recommend bringing a reusable water bottle. The other thing to note is if you're at Disney World, if you have a reusable water bottle, you can go up to the like food stations, like the restaurants, and they will refill water and ice for you for free. So that way you don't have to spend like five dollars and buy a water bottle every single time. Another cup thing in here, this is a reusable cup that we got from our hotel. So if you stay on site um, at Disney in the hotels, you can get this. I think this was like $21, but with this cup, you can then refill it as much as you want throughout your stay. This though only works when you're staying on the resorts. This does not apply like for you to refill fountain drinks and things when you go into the park. But this is um, an option. If you drink a lot of fountain drinks and things, you could save some money also by getting one of these and that way you can get refillable drinks. It depends on how how often like and how long you stay. And then in here, these are kind of my souvenirs. So Walt Disney is having their 50th celebration. And so they have these really cute bags. These are just like the reusable bags. But personally for me, this was like my souvenir because <laughs> it's so pretty. And they had two different sizes. They had this like larger one. Just look how pretty this is. I hope it's showing, but it's like this iridescent 50 color. There's Mickey and Minnie. Um, this one's a larger size. Oh, check out these handles. I really think these handles are so cute. They're like sparkly. I like using these reusable bags or when I'm grocery shopping. And then they had this little one too that I, I figured this would be a good like lunch bag or if you have little stuff to carry, but I thought this was really cute. And these were like a dollar. Um, so I, we got a couple of them. And then let's see in here. All right, next thing in here, sunscreen. Very important, fully recommend. So we brought, I brought two. Um, we went for a week and my husband and I, I brought two bottles, but I just brought this Banana Boat Sport sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen. I like this one because it doesn't have that sticky feel with when I apply it so I, I use this one on my body and then the face ones I already showed you so that's important to bring oh this next thing is a life saver okay so this is a little fan watch it even has like low medium and high so life saver so this is from Amazon. There's this little watch, uh, not watch, water area. And uh, what we ended up doing when we were waiting in line, I think it was like Splash Mountain or one of the roller coaster rides. It's only end of March, April. It was so hot. The line was so long. And so this was such a lifesaver because we could just like stand there and just, yeah. Lifesaver, fully recommend. I'll link this down below. I got this on Amazon. Yeah, love it. Okay. Next thing in here, I brought my mini portable umbrella. So this is from Vera Bradley. This little umbrella is my tried and true, my beloved tiny little umbrella. Like, look how little it is. It's like the size of my palm. And I brought this because one, I didn't know if it was gonna rain with Florida weather, but also two, one day I brought it because like as you're walking through the park, some places don't have a lot of shade. So yes, I was one of those people that I put my umbrella up so I could have a little bit of shade when I was walking around. So I, I would recommend bringing an umbrella. Next thing is my other souvenir. So I'm an avid coffee drinker and I love Starbucks. But one of the things that I collect and I'm really into is I like the little you are, you've been there, you are here collection with their coffee mugs. And so I always get them when I go to different cities that I really like. Well, Magic Kingdom was sold out. And then so when we went to Animal Kingdom, the large, they normally have like regular size coffee mugs, but they were sold out. And then they had this miniature one, which is super cute. So this is from Animal Kingdom. You can see the 50th. And so I just, I love these. I wish that they, I literally drink my morning coffee every single day. I, in my cabinets, I have them from like all different cities. But this little one, I guess I'll put it in my cabinet, but it's, my husband doesn't really drink coffee, so we were joking that this is his coffee cup because that's probably, it's like two sips. And um, so that's, this will be his coffee cup. Or I guess it could be an espresso cup. But this is, I wish all the parks had the larger size. But yeah, so you gotta get what I can get. So let's see, in here I have my makeup remover wipes. And then, oh, here is, and so when you go to Disney, I don't know where the other pins are. When you go to Disney, you can get a free pen. So this one was one that I got. They have like, I think four different ones. There's one that says like first time. There's one that says I'm celebrating. And then you can write like birthday or whatever you're celebrating or anniversary. There's a happily ever after. 
And there's another one. I don't remember what the other one is, but you can ask for these free pens. And this could also be like a souvenir too. And then these are, so when I had first packed to go to Disney, I had my clothes all nicely tucked away in these travel pouches. And these are the compressible ones, which I really like because you zip it up and then you can compress it down and it saves a lot of space. And so these are just the clean clothes I left in here so that I packed. And kind of like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, every day when I went to Disney, I just wore like comfortable clothes because you're gonna, like I said, you're outside, it's so hot, um, you're gonna do so much walking and it just becomes a point of like, like I choose comfort over looking cute. Well, I look cute in other ways, but I feel. <laughs> but anyways, I fully recommend, and I got these shirts in all different colors. Like this one is green. These shirts, I am fully obsessed with. These are like my favorite shirts right now and they're from Walmart. And let me show you. So they're from the No Boundaries brand. I hope it's focusing. So the no boundaries and literally it's like, like five 98. It's $6. There it is. And it's so soft. And these are like a V neck and it's like very sporty looking and like the cut I think is really good. These come in all different colors. I'll show you. I bought every single color. I think I have two of every color. This is like a teal green. This is a pink one. They have red. I'll show you blue, uh, white, black, all different colors but i fully recommend this i brought just enough clothes for each day with like a couple extra pairs and then here's the other compressible pouch i really like this brand i bought a another brand but this one is my favorite and i go back to this one every time if you can find this on amazon it says tripped um i don't know if that's the brand but these are my favorite because i find that the zippers are smoother than the other ones i got like a pink set but i i always find that i go back to this brand so i'll link it down below if i can find it so that other pouch with my tops this one is for my bottoms so i these are just some leggings that i i brought that i didn't end up wearing and then one pair of leggings um i brought two dresses i'll show you the other one because it must be on the other side but I brought just in case, like if we wanted to go out, we had booked reservations for dinners every night. I just brought this in case I, if, if I wanted more of a like nicer dress. So this is my Lily Pulitzer dress that I did a video on a while back, but this is just a dress. This is actually, I think the tags are still on it. I haven't worn this outside of trying it on for the video. I didn't end up wearing this because it was so hot and these, this was a long sleeve dress. So um, that's why I didn't end up wearing that one. Okay, this next thing in here, this is my magic band. I got this originally when I went to Disney like five or six years ago. When you used to go, I think these were like free originally, but now they charge like $40. Well, I think the plain ones are 20. They charge a lot of money for these magic bands. So if you have an older one, definitely save it and bring it when you go back because that's what we did and they were able to still link the magic band to our account. And then so we used this magic band for like our room key when we were checking in and out. We used this magic band every single time we did the lightning pass to do fast pass to do all the rides. You have to like tap in. And then so this is super handy. So if you have one, save it and bring it. If you don't have one, personally, I would say save like $30 and you can just use your room key that they give you. Um, so that's that and then this is just my portable clothing steamer I don't know why because I brought all dry fit comfortable workout material clothes I didn't end up using it. So this is a don't pack for Disney item <laughs> If you see loose clothes in here, these are just clothes. That I did wear I didn't want to like mess it up with my clean clothes These are just a pair of under armor shorts that I wore and then this was an outfit It's just like a under armor workout shirt that I wore that you can see I just wore shorts and that workout shirt and then this last thing in here this is my underwears pouch like thing I got this on Amazon I use it every single time I travel now fully recommend it however I bought this on Amazon for like 15 maybe not that much maybe around $12 and I like it a lot but then I saw Timu had it and Timu I think it was like three dollars so I'll link it down below if I can find it but this is, uh, there's like a two compartment system. There's this top part and this bottom part. So I'll just show you the bottom part first. But in here, I keep my bras. I brought mostly like comfortable sports bras. And then I brought some socks. So these are my unworn ones I need to put back in my closet. And then there are like even these, like these little pouches that you can put socks or undies in. And then the top part is where I put my undies. And then so, I, mean, I don't need to show you my undies, but it's just... 
there's a top bus. So I put my undies in here and then I put my bras in here. And I got this because when I used to travel, I would try, I would put it in this part, like these zippered compartments, but because they're so bulky, I ended up making it really hard to close. So then I ended up buying this thing so I could keep them all together in one place and then put it in here. So then my luggage could close together. So I do really like this and I do recommend it. So now we're finally done with one side. Go to the other side i don't think i have anything in these front pockets oh i do i ordered this from a website from japan i think but these are it's a banana clip i'm wearing one now i'm wearing the black one so this is just a big bow i think it's really cute but it holds my hair up like a ponytail and it's really tight so it doesn't feel loose or anything like that so i bought this in a couple different colors so this is the tan one here's another one that i got in taiwan several years ago it's another banana clip one it looks like that with a ponytail it's super cute. I, I'm obsessed with these, but these are hard to find these days. Going into the zippered compartment. All right, first thing on top. These are so important for going to Disney World. I got this set of four from Amazon. I have to tell you, like when you go to Disney World, everyone is wearing ears. Like not everyone, but most people. So it's so popular there, it's so cute. Disney World, they have their own line and it's so unique there there are so many really 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 pretty ones but the ones from disney are like 30 dollars or so and some of the really like sparkly really fancy ones can go up to like 50 dollars and it's just way too pricey and so you know what I, I was like you know i want ears but i didn't want to spend that much money so i ordered these from amazon i got this set of four for ten dollars i'll link it down below i had a really good time wearing these i think they look really cute in the pictures this one is the mickey one and then here's the pink one. There we go. And then also, this is something also that's kind of new, but these are scrunchies. And then there are the ears on top. So then there was a couple of days where I put my hair in a ponytail and then I could still put this and have little ears on the ponytail. And these are actually really good because like oftentimes like when you're going on a ride, like you would have to take off your ears and things like that. But if you had these these would stay on like for the ride. You wouldn't have to keep like worrying about taking it off. But so I really, really, really like this or if you're like a, more of a ponytail type of person, fully recommend these like cute little scrunchy ones. Um, and like I said, I got all four of these on Amazon for $10. Etsy is the other place. Um, you can get a lot of really cute ears and things as well. These are my pajamas that I absolutely love. I got these from Costco. They're the softest pajamas, but those are just my pajamas. Then this is the bag that came with my carry-on luggage. Um, but in here, I think these are my dirty clothes. Put that over there. This bag right here is the other bag that came with my carry-on luggage. It says not basic. And in here are like my little stuff that I just move luggage to luggage to luggage. Things that I will use. So I showed you the flip-flops that my husband brought. But for me personally, I got these from Ikea years ago. These are just $2 slippers. So when I'm staying in a hotel, I can always have slippers. And then in here, I have deodorant. I have ibuprofen. I definitely recommend bringing ibuprofen or Tylenol just so you have it. Okay, so I have a portable lint roller. I got this from, I think, Marshalls or TJ Maxx years and years ago. It folds out. It's just a, like, portable lint roller. Didn't end up using it, but like I said, this is my, like, travels thing. I have some Victoria's Secret body spray. This is in Temptation. I think this smells very sweet, but it's very good. I will, I'm a little obsessive, but I have two foam cords in here. One is really long, so this is just a regular length one. And then this one, actually, I recommend. I, I probably talked about it in multiple videos, but this is my iPhone charger, but it's, as you can see, it's really, really long. It's probably like 10 feet long. If you're in the hotel room or anywhere, you could just plug in, and then you, you can, like, sit on the bed and use your phone and stuff like that. So it's a convenience thing. Next thing in here, all right. These are my Lily Pulitzer jackets that I brought. These are the UPF line, and I absolutely love this line. I think this is called the Britonna jacket. It's a full zip jacket. I brought this one, and I also brought, I have a pink one as well. And when I went to Disney, and like I said, right now it's the end of March, early April, it was so hot there, but there was one day that it was more chilly, and in the evening times, it can get down to the 40s. So I would say dress in layers when you're at Disney in terms of like right now I'm wearing this t-shirt with some leggings or you could wear shorts. And I would say pack a, a light jacket 
or a thin sweatshirt. I'll show you with the other one that I wore for the evening times because like when we were at Magic Kingdom, they have a fireworks show at nighttime and so it can get kind of chilly um, or if you go inside to certain restaurants and stores and things like that. So I would say pack a light jacket, but I would say you don't need anything thicker or heavier than something like this. This or like a sweatshirt. Um, but so I packed those. All right, so then one day when I went to Magic Kingdom, I wore a white shirt with a this jacket with this skirt. These are all from Lily Pulitzer. I it's I made a video in case you're interested and you want to know like the full details. It's a lot of people wore skirts there. It's a very cute. I would say wear skirts or shorts or leggings. I really enjoyed this outfit. Okay, I'll just let's do all my clothes. Here's a black pair of shorts that I wore. Like I said, I'm into Walmart clothes right now. This is a sweatshirt that I got from Walmart and I used my Cricut and I made it so where there are the four Disney princesses and it says squad goals. I wore this like when I went to Magic Kingdom and then like at nighttime, if I was a little bit chilly, I put this on over my clothes. So um, I would say bring something like this like so you can layer at nighttime. And then this is a second dress that I wore and I wore this to Epcot. There are some rides, but more like just walking around. So this is another Lily dress that I wore. I would say dress very casual and comfortable at Disney. In here, I packed some lotion in case I had dry skin. I did not end up applying or needing lotion, but this lotion is Eucerin and it's kind of nice because there is a little bit of built-in SPF um, in here. This is just leftover. So like I said earlier in my video, I ordered my morning coffee, my cold brew that I need to drink every morning to get my day started. And then so I got these to-go cups with the lids. So then what I ended up doing was I drank my morning coffee in the hotel room. That way I could save a little bit of money. And so I just brought home the extras because I feel I didn't want to just leave it there and waste it. And I had extra space. This is a mini backpack from Dagny Dover and it's super comfortable. It's a really good size. I wore this mini backpack every day and then my husband brought a backpack. He brought more of a full size backpack that held our water bottles and sunscreen and the bigger items. And then in here, I just put like my cell phone, my wallet, my ears, my emergency pouch, um, hand sanitizer. You're allowed to bring backpacks into Disney. And let's see what else. Oh, the other thing too that I, I think is very important to bring. This is a reusable bag or you can bring like a sandwich bag. But I brought one to keep in my backpack and I put one in my husband's backpack. There was one ride and I think it was Animal Kingdom. And you go down and you get really wet. And so that way I put my cell phone in here and that way it wouldn't get ruined. This is more important for my husband because he actually has hearing devices. And so that way his stuff would not get wet and ruined. But I would say definitely pack a sandwich bag or something in here because you never know when you're going to need it. All right, so we're getting down to the end of it. And these are these are um, the clothes that I wore when I was there. So let me just show you because I think they're really cute. So I pretty much wore like this type of shirt every single day. It's just in a different color because these are so soft. But I wore this red one with black leggings with my Mickey ears as one outfit for the day. And then this one I wore to Magic Kingdom. It's a really pretty like soft blue color. And I check out what I cricket. I thought this is really cute. It's like a cinderella coach and then it says coach on there and then it says alien far far away i thought that was just cute so i wore that the day when i went to magic kingdom so this is the other shirt that i wore one day to magic kingdom we went there twice but it's just a white shirt but i put you can see the mickey with the castle and it's like a marbly vinyl with some glitter with a glitter bow for Minnie. and then this is just a pink one i think i wore this at the airport it's just a pink one so like I said, I'm obsessed with these shirts. Like I said, they're from Walmart and they're like my favorite shirts right now. I'm all about them. Um, and then this is my eyeglass case. They're not in there right now, but my eyeglass case. And then this is my sleeping mask that when I go to sleep at nighttime, I like to cover up my eyes. And then this is my base essentials toiletry case. And in here, I just have toiletries. I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, I have these refillable, this is a conditioner, the C, and then I have S for shampoo, hair ties, and then in the other side, I have my Tula face wash, I have some Q-tips, I um, contact solution, my contacts, and then here's my, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-On Spray, this is what I use every single day, I love it, this is my makeup remover cleansing balm. I like this one. This is a Clinique one. That's pretty much it. So that's everything that I packed in Disney. I am sorry that I rambled for so long that this is such a long video, but I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment down below. 
and I will see you guys next time.